Hi guys, today we're reading the story of Tall Tilly. It's by Jillian Powell and Tim Archbold. All right, here's Tilly. The first question I'm gonna ask you is think about, the name is Tall Tilly. Do you think Tilly likes to be tall? Hmm. Let's find out. Tilly was tall. She was growing taller every day. She was taller than all her friends at school. In fact, she was the tallest girl in her whole grade. Tilly could not fit into her clothes. She was too tall for them. This happens sometimes. You grow out of your clothes overnight. Tilly could not fit into her bed. She was too tall for it. My dad and my brothers have this problem. They didn't stack books up at the end of the bed, though, but that's a very clever idea. Tilly could not fit into the bathtub. She was too tall for it. Look, her toes are hanging out the end. Tilly liked Ben, a boy in her class. She was too tall for him. He's trying to give her a smooch. Mm. Tilly was too tall to be a ballerina, and that is what she wanted most of all. I didn't think you could be too tall to be a ballerina, but that's what the book says. Tilly did not like being tall, so this answers that question. She wanted to be short like her best friend, Molly. This is kind of funny because my best friend Molly is shorter than me too. And she has blonde hair. One day, Tilly's teacher had an idea. She made Tilly the captain of all the games at recess. Hmm. Look at that, it's a lot of sports. A lot of teams to be captain of. Tilly was good at basketball. She scored a lot of points for her team. Look at that. She dribbles. She shoots. She scores. She just jumped over all of them. Tilly was good at soccer. She stopped a lot of goals from going into the net. That's what I always tell the kids on my team. Be big. Jump for it. She, look at She's diving for the ball. She's jumping up high. This was giving her some confidence. Tilly was good at running. She won every race. Those long legs were going fast. Tilly jumped the highest high jump. She jumped the longest long jump. Tilly was good at every sport. Everyone cheered for her. Tilly loved being tall after all. Look, she's blushing. Her face is getting red. She's embarrassed, but she's excited and embarrassed. The challenge words at the end of this book were ballerina, cheered, goals, and net. And then some think about it questions. Why did Tilly dislike being tall? What did Tilly want most of all? How did Tilly's teacher help her? How many sports did Tilly play? How did Til Tilly's feelings about being tall change at the end of the story? Hmm. So that was Tall Tilly. The other day we read Have Fun, Molly Lou Mellon. And Molly Lou Mellon, if you remember, is really short. So Tilly was the tallest in her class and Molly Lou Mellon was the shortest in her class. And I thought it would be kind of interesting to think, what would they play together? A really tall person and a really short person. Would it make a difference? How could they help each other? Everybody brings something different to the table. And it's fun to have friends who are different from you. I'm sort of in the middle. It took me until I went to college until I had a lot of girlfriends who were taller than me. Most of the time, I was the tallest one in the class. But eventually I found people who were taller than me. So now I'm kind of in the middle. But what, think about it, what would Molly Lou Mellon and tall Tilly do together 
go back and read this story, listen to it, and think about what they could do together. Got to be something. Let me know in the comments. Thank you for learning with Miss Roseberry. See you next time.